Um, send me a text on this here. Do you remember poor farmers? Well, poor farms. Yes, I remember that. That's what they're doing right now with our uh, when they when they flag people down on TriMet, get their find they don't have a fare as they're going to services, target them by their clothes, send them through community court, and then make them do community service. Or doing what? I mean, they're you know, work farms. What they used to Edgefield. call it? Vag oh, there used to be laws in America Edgefield. about vagrancy. No visible means. Oh wait, support. you're talking about like a the. Poor farm. Yeah, well, you're you talking about working. You can live. You, yeah, all living or generally. working. Living and working. A poor farm, like what Edgefield was originally. Oh, okay. Well, Edgefield I, originally was a poor farm. I, I worked the, as the patent home for the friendless. It was called. That's the legal name. One of my first jobs in Portland. Uh, this huge kind of mansion, wood mansion. It was a rich man who, for widows, built this place. It turned into a, it turned into assisted living. But it was actually I saw the legal license Creeper. in the basement. It was called the Patent Home for the Friendless. I guess for elderly widows. I don't know why the legal license says friendless, but that's still there. You know, it's, but it's a, a assisted living. Well, right? that brings up the point that a lot of people are in the situations that they are because you have one person who makes it and one person who doesn't through a bumpy, right. and the reason that they don't make it is because they don't have a support network. You know, they don't have couch surfing, they don't have relatives, right. so they're here. That's right. And and I always think like... So friendless is right. Like if this country, if this country has been a hundred... I want to hear, I want to hear about the poor farm before Paul goes, because okay. because he's, you can hang out, but he, he, okay, so Paul, what about the poor farm? Poor farm was something designed in the 40s, during the Depression, for people that would live, I don't I'm not familiar that much with it, but Edgefield out at minimums used to be originally a poor farm. We there had was a building built for people to live at. If you didn't have any money when you got the, older. Right, when you didn't have any money, you got older, you had a bed, and you could work your way up through the ranks as you lived there from the work you did to get a bigger room. Your family could live there. They eventually built a morgue because people got older. And now it's at, you know, it's Edgefield. And if you don't like it, education on poor farms, go out to Edgefield. I went to there. Did you take the tour? Oh, my video's frozen. Can you still hear us, yeah. KMT? I can hear you. No. Bye, everybody. We love you. Oh, I'm gonna go. You poop. done? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that Thank information. Christmas. Brought to you live. Okay. So KMT is gonna let us know the video's frozen. Okay. Um, but we, I think you can still hear, and so um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. It would be a, a incredible cost savings for the community, if, for instance, if it's a, about a hundred thousand, those are privately built. So let's say they always go over budget, the housing authority. Uh, so let's say it's 50 million for 122. Maybe three million over the original press release. So at, at privately built prices, you go a little under because it doesn't have to be that fancy. It could be smaller or whatever. And you know, you could figure uh, 100,000, 50 million should be 500 being built. And that alone, you could save a tremendous amount of money. For instance, the needs. How about recidivism in our prisons? You, they give you, I don't know, a hundred bucks and they release you out in the street. Well, what if you're estranged from your family and you got all these forms to fill out and all the, they need housing. You gotta unwind. You've done your time, you gotta unwind. You need a, a door that your key opens. Otherwise, you're in, back in prison. So many, 70%, something like that. That's ridiculous. Uh, but they throw them out on the streets. Right. You've got to have a roof over your head to put your life back together. It doesn't have to be a big space. Right, and it's impossible to actually live uh, on the street legally because they've made about everything All criminal. Right, and on the other hand, uh, Cascadia, for instance, and mental health. I had jury duty in October. I come down here. Uh, there was a guy with a blanket around him talking to the streetlight, uh, thinking it was the moon or something, and a gal asked me for a smoke, and I gave her one, and then she went off babbling. And I'm thinking, okay, these are Cascadia patients. They get paid, those guys get paid so much for each patient, federal, state, county, city. And I'm thinking they need a structured building, something like the Alder House, which is 132 units built 20 some years ago for 4.2 million. And Cascadia's offices could be on the ground floor. You know, it's, these people don't, they, they die young age, and just give them all the pills they want, and hope you come back for your next visit. That would be a huge savings. And it's a humanitarian thing to do. 
the way they're treated today it's cruel and unusual punishment and they've committed no crime well you know sam adams warned us there was a an oregonian article and a no it was a news story and i have it on my website gmo free portland dot com under the word occupy um... there's a uh... just uh... in that link you can scroll down to the bottom and i think it was coin maybe i'm not sure one of these news people they said you know mayor adams is warning that there are going to be released onto the streets you know because there's no county funding a lot of mentally ill people they're going to be released and they're going to be homeless on the streets yeah well instead of discussing you know the, the humanitarian situation that we have that news broadcaster said which could be trouble for local businesses that was what they tagged onto the end so the mayor's warning everybody that we've got this epidemic and the news story picked up that um, and said which punchline 